good morning viewers today i'm going to be recording a, a new game in civilization i'm going to be playing uh, monarch level i'm going to be playing as india and i'm going my choice is a tiny map and i'm going to be choosing the continent type um, gen no normally it opens up with a couple of continents and uh, since it is a tiny map there is like three components my rivals here are Arabia, Mongolia, and uh, Persia. Uh, so, for those who know about history, Arabia, Mongolia, and Persia have been the rivals for India in the uh, historical sense. They have troubled India a lot, occupied India, exploited Indians over a long period of time. Uh, in this game, though, it's going to be a completely different scenario. India is going to be giving these civilizations a lot of heartache so monarch is a pretty difficult uh, game to master and uh, playing india which is generally considered a little bit weak in military we'll have to see how we are able to win in monarch level that's what this game is about i'm not going to be choosing the default tools in this game couple of settings are turned off by default we allow cultural conversions since we are going to be occupying a lot of cities in this game i'm going to turn off cultural conversions and I'm not going to allow the AA players to respawn. Respawning AA players essentially means that once the player is kicked out, if the map is not completely explored, they get a second chance, which I believe is unfair. So I'm going to be turning that off as well. Having said that, let's get started. So the first city, it's a pretty good landscape. Um, now we are located right next to your river. There is some grasslands around. There is some grasslands with some shields available as well and there is a nice spice here. So this is a pretty good location for my capital. Hurrah, there we go. I got my Delhi in. Now I am not going to be building any units. I start out straight away with barracks. A lot of you might be wondering like, you know, why is this guy going for barracks? Why not settlers? So my strategy is that I am currently sharing the continent with uh, one of the opponents in the game. And I want to take the continent all for myself. And I don't want to make military units that are not at least veteran. So if I have a barracks, the military units that come out of the city are veteran by default. So they have a better chance of winning any combat. So we are going to give a head start to the generation of the barracks in this game by chopping off this forest. And let's get started with technology. When it comes to the technology tree, I want to begin with Archer, so I'm going to be researching Warrior Code and let's increase the research to 100% and there we go. Let's chop the forest, 4 turns, the forest has been chopped, let's roll that tile. Alright, uh, it's going to take uh, 3 turns for uh, rolling that particular tile, finish rolling. Now I'm going to be roading the tile that has the spice so that we'll get some happiness into the city. Six turns because that uh, tile has a forest in there as well. Population by the way has increased to two and these are the two tiles that are being used by the villagers or the workers currently so We'll have to get into mining those two tiles. Uh, warrior code coming in one turn. Here's some efficiency. We can get some gold back by reducing the research when we are one turn away from finishing the research. So we are going to finish warrior code in one turn and we are getting two gold surplus. So warrior code research is done. So here's a little insight into my plan on um, technology tree. Uh, I want to switch over into monarchy as soon as possible, but monarchy by itself is a pretty expensive research. Um, so what my strategy is going to be is that I'm going to be shooting for philosophy. And then once we, if we are the first to get philosophy, then we get a free tech and that free tech is going to be monarchy. So for that, we have to clear out the pathway to monarchy, which is mysticism and polytheism. So India being a religious civilization, uh, mysticism is a little bit cheaper. So I'm going to opt for mysticism next. Let's 
go ahead and increase the beaker to 100% and the barracks completed. So we are going to build archers. Uh, why archers? Why not settlers? Let's do a settler because the population is at 2 and we are going to have growth in uh, 7 turns and settler comes in 10 turns. So I think this will be a good strategy. Let's do a settler and then we'll go for an archer rush. By the time we would have had contact with whoever the neighboring civilization is and then we can figure out where they are and go about trying to eliminate them. So now we are at 100% of research and because of the barrack support we are losing one gold. So we have to reduce the research a little bit in order to not lose a gold. We have only like a surplus of treasury of 12 gold and we, we don't want to be in a scenario where we are running out of it. So we completed the road to this tile and we know that these are the two that are currently getting used. So let's go ahead and mine this tile. And there we go, we found who our neighbor is. Our neighbor happens to be Arabia. What are they into? Ah, they have two techs. Let's see whether we can do a trade. We don't want to give both. Looks like that guy has already researched some. So let us see whether he'll be willing to give bronze working. Will he give the entire stack of gold for that? No, he won't. How about six gold? No. Five. Good. So oh, let's take that. This is probably the only trade we are going to go do with him. If I offer 17 gold for pottery and warrior code, he's still not going to accept that. So, you know what? I think I am good with this. It's fine. We have to just. He came from this direction, so we have to explore in that direction, but we'll take care of it. So we are done with the mining. No unhappy laborer. And these are the three tiles. So I am going to be building my net city in this direction. It is just a hunch uh, based upon the direction from which the Arabian came this way, so let's see. Settler created, now we are going to go in for an archer rush. And uh, our strategy in this game, uh, we may not may not go all the way into the industrial era, but we need sufficient space for each and every city. And uh, my preference is to place them at least four tiles apart. So let's go here and then one more tile after that. One, two, three, four. That seems to be a good location. And that's where our second city is going to be. So place him right there. And Archer in four turns. We know that this tile also has some mine. So let's go here and road that and build a city. We are going to be making workers out of this first. Arabs, number one. All right. For now. Getting an archer in one turn. We got an archer. We are going to make one more archer. Well, let's go this way. Um, what next? Let us see. Let's come here. Roll that tile. Hmm, maybe I'm mistaken because this way it is looking like it is just the ocean. In one turn we are getting mysticism, reduce the signs, research, funding, getting plus four and still one turn mysticism. Good. Next, I'm going to go in for writing. You want to make progress towards philosophy. Some more luxuries here. Silks. Good. You want to get as much of uh, 
luxuries into the city as possible otherwise we are going to need temples in order to keep the happiness going got our second archer is it time for a third settler yeah let's do that uh let's go this way why this guy is exploring to the east worker done let's go in for uh, barracks or settler let's go in for a barracks in the second city well our plan is to go militaristic and uh, we should be big on military to start with we are we are uh, our strategy is going to be going after arabs who happen to be our uh, unfortunate neighbors and that is ivory i just spotted ivory that is you know, we are having three luxuries in this map which is pretty good still no no sign of uh, the arabs anywhere so difficult to find that uh, uh right so should we roll to this bad we place our third city one two three four but this is pretty barren it's all plains there isn't much food there's a lot of green over here um uh, one two three four one two three four this might be a good location so let's road to the six this guy is going to chop off this forest so that the barracks will get done faster let's get on top of that hill to see whether we can spot the arabs and let's explore settler out let's get another archer and settler is going right here isn't it one two three four yep On top of this, let us see all that map exposed. Good. So, took a while for uh, the Arabs to be able to find us. So I reckon uh, they are a little bit far away from us. The forest wood has been chopped off. So we are getting a barracks in uh, eight turns. So road that tile. A uh, hot pot under that tile just food there is a shield here there's a shield here this is a pretty good city location uh, this one is a good location as well and we are in luck I'll let this guy explore in the eastern direction and third city get a worker and a barracks then start popping out archers same strategy this guy is going to explore in eastern direction this guy is going in the southwest done mm. let's see here this one has a shield this one has a shield let me come for this guy another archer good so now let us go in the eastern or western direction. Ah, this guy is continuing to go south and southwest. Keep going. Do not stop till we find the Arabs. largest nations glorious arabs so they have made a good start there it's not going to be long before he starts threatening me for something and i see the arab maybe i should declare war against him all uh, right let's do an archer first and then we'll go in for let's do a war don't kill him Dead. 
pretty sure he is pretty pissed off right now and he'll be coming for our capital uh, i'm running a little bit low on uh, gold again so let's reduce the science research a little bit got our archer i'm going to station him right there for protection because i'm pretty sure the arabs are pretty pissed off and i see arabian territory right there good we found him so we are going right there we're going to have a rush of archers going towards the arabian territory we want this continent all for ourselves it's the indian subcontinent writings done uh, next we are going in for polytheism and then philosophy so far so good Thirty six turns. That's quite long, but let's see. And this guy is going to come straight here. Fifteen turns to walk that direction. Let's go in and see. Petros has produced a worker barracks there as well. Then. back off a little bit now I want to get into a battle only when I my archer has a unit backing him another archer there we are going to be continuing to make archers and we'll station them over here this guy keeps making advances and this guy keeps giving a little bit of sense of insecurity into the Arabs this guy I want all the primary tiles to be used by the capital because your capital is your least corrupt city and right now this guy is taking the lion's share but that is okay uh, let's just go and roll this tile oh my god they are going for my capital so now it is time for me to make a retreat and this guy as well as going to head back towards the capital this guy is also going to go and try to cut them off and this guy is going to stand on top of the hill let's see it's going to be a pretty tense moments coming up there is a battle that is drawing up now so let's see i would uh, put this archer over here for protection one more advance is going in the same direction that the warriors are heading towards cultural influence increased in the capital All right. let's keep heading in that direction I'm pretty sure that warriors are heading right there one more archer now let's do a settler here and move the archer forward jump off that forest in order to get that barracks going and there my archer is getting attacked oh my god I lost him uh, that is the issue now I'm going to just position these guys right in the center are requesting an audience ah he wants a tech i don't think so get lost he thinks that he is uh, in a better militaristic position than me but the point that he is missing is that i am having better military units mine are researched archers that are coming from the train barracks he's in for a little bit of a surprise
that warrior thinks that he can get away with it is mistaken in for a surprise there we go and I'll give him my protection now let us see what the Arabs have in store let's start thinking about our uh, next city uh, one, two, three, four, right next to your river. One, two, three, four, five. This would be a good spot. So let us roll to that tile. And we have plenty of gold, so we can increase our research a little bit. Let's see whether he is willing to attack. No. He knows that he is in. Uh, not in a strong position for now I am just going to build up my strength he is a loner and we are going to teach him a lesson and there's two more there's support coming for him let us see what they do see on a plain field an archer attacking a warrior always stands a better chance and our plan was to one two three four five tiles away over there was where we are planning to place our fourth city or let's go ahead and attack this other warrior as well slowly but surely India is winning There we go. All his reserves are gone. Let's keep moving forward. Let's step a little bit, recover. And where is going to be our fifth city? I love these uh, lot of uh, floodplains here. One, two, three, four. This would be a good spot for our good city. So let us road towards our uh, next city. How are the tiles here looking? I can mine this tile. Yeah, let's go ahead and mine it. One more archer coming there to attack. One against three. He will most likely attack this guy. Three against one. Let us see how that goes. Go in for another worker. And we planned our next city one, two, three, four tiles away over here. So let's move the settler. Strength of three versus the strength of one. I get an attack bonus, but I lost that time. That's okay. We are going to finish him off now. One turn later, India prevails. You know what? I can actually move these guys over as well. They are not in that attacking mode anymore. So both of these guys I reckon can go in for the attack. One more archer. All of you keep going for the attack. Rest up a little bit. I wanted to do okay. It's fine. 
one turn lost for the worker because of a mistyped key. One more barracks and one more source for an archer. It's created a city. Alright, so what are we going to do next? Let's load the style. have to irrigate some of these we are going to get uh, monarchy soon I am leaving all of my city open for attack one more city and this is a pretty good city for uh, creating a settler because of all the flood plains around it I have three cities with barracks making military units. So we can like dedicate one city for making settlers, although oh, we can make one more archer and then go in for a settler in Bombay. Let's congregate in a common location. And give some nervous moments to the Arabians. Get on top of the hill. Get inside the city. Polytheism almost done. Let's reduce the research. Get some gold back. Philosophy. Finally, here. How many turns? 12. That's too much. 10 turns is enough. Okay. Let's keep advancing. Okay. Um, yeah, we wanted to irrigate. I think uh, this tile has only grassland, so we can start the irrigation from here. And I like to improve the terrain around the capital because it is the least corrupt city. So we want to make it as productive as possible. And we are going to start taking out, destroy, pillage the roads of the Arabs, reduces production. Uh, one more archer. Good. So we can go in for a settler here now. Created worker. I want to go in for a barracks here as well. Good progress so far. Destroy pillage. Pillage again. Yeah, move this guy closer. This guy closer to Arabia. Is there any forest around here? Nothing. There is a tile for mining. Let's do that. I'm standing on top of a hill so that gives me a little bit of uh, defense strength and these last roads for the precious gems with more attackers on the way I believe this forest is still inside the territory of uh, Bangalore so is counter-attacking. He's getting nervous as we get closer to his uh, capital there. 
pretty sure there's a lot of them sitting in there. I am going to try and kill that guy, but we have lost that archer for all practical purposes, I would say. Let's congregate there. And you come here. Alright, so. him as well that's okay let's chop off that forest we'll have to start thinking about our net city settler coming in one turn there is a cow over here cattle one two three all right so one two three this might be a good time to place our next city in and then there is one more we want to like get hold of this ivory one two three four city here and then one two three four a city here maybe that is what we will do with the next two settlers because we want to get hold of this uh, ivory as soon as possible we don't plan on leaving any military units in our land area here um, without military policing the happiness can become a little bit of a problem so we'll see whether we can take care of it good all right settler done let's do archer again It has no shield in there. Uh, let us road to the ivory. And our plan was one, two, three, four tiles away from the capital. We are going to place one here. Uh, I want to start irrigating these tiles. Getting philosophy in one turn. And that is an indication that we may be the first one to research philosophy. Let's see if I choose monarchy next, it should give it for free. Yeah, we got monarchy. So next we want to research wheel uh, because that is going to give us wheel and horseback riding will give us the ability to spot horses. And then we want to start training horses for our combat. Uh, we'll coming in six turns, but then we are going to be switching governments. Um, let's do the switching at the end of the turn. And we'll uh, continue progressing. This guy is going to rest here. Road, road. Protection for him. And now is a good time for us to switch into monarchy. Ah, I'm getting attacked again. Arabians are pretty good. Putting up a pretty good fight there. And he's coming after. This is what I love about the AI and so it knows who is weak that archer oh, is like coming right after him i'm pretty sure he will be chased and we are going to go into monarchy all right so still six turns it doesn't change a whole lot but we are going to give him a little bit of a heartache here by going into his territory Should be or should be not the explorer. Let me think about it. Delhi made one more archer. The population is up to four. So let's make one more settler.
wealthiest nations we have made it to the top of the list let's attack indians are uh, supposed to be weak militaristically so you should expect to lose a few military units when you go in for combat but it is not so much about the military might it is about the strategy the thinking mind behind it that means you games in civilization so let's uh, irrigate that tile and we are going to place that city right there lahore um it's going for a barracks Dance, wheel, let's try. Last one more archer there. Let's attack. Continue to attack. Struggling. It's moving back a tile. Sometimes you have to retreat. Meal research is done. Let's go for horseback riding. I don't see any horses, but let us just finish that research. Getting plus two gold. Yeah, minus two is fine. One more archer, go for it. It's moving forward. All right, where are you? You are going to. Oh, do I see a horse anywhere? No, oh, there is a horse here. It's quite far away. You're not going to get it anytime soon. Let's road to the ivory. single archer has been giving so much of trouble now he wants a peace treaty this is where we take advantage because when he is ah he won't even give mercenary i don't want a peace treaty with you If your intention is to die a miserable death, no one can stop that. We are going to place it right next to the lake over there, or we could place it here as well. Um, we can place it in the desert. Uh, it would be better. Right, so let's just do that. This guy has grown to population of five, so I'm going to be making a settler here. I knew that was going to happen. Let's just address things. Okay, so we are going to build up our military units there. We need a stack of about seven or eight archers before we go in for an attack because the spearman is pretty good in defensing. How many do we have? Four. Horseback riding almost complete. We're not making fast enough progress. How much is zero percent? Two body. No, it doesn't matter. It's fine. Alright, next. 
it's going for pottery the cheapest tech Pompey has produced archer Bangalore has produced barracks it's been kind of an archer there as I said we need at least seven archers before we attack them sure along the way that he will counter attack as well so we should probably think about bringing somebody here we get that and continue forwarding further Pottery in one turn. Pottery done. Next, masonry. All right. Settler done. It's going for archers. Archer settler, one more settler. So now, yeah, we lost that scientist, so we'll have to increase the scientific research a little bit. You know, to get masonry in four turns. And this uh, explorer has been bothering me constantly, so I'm going to just get rid of her uh, unless he wants to run away. All right, our next city is going to be one, two, three tiles away, right there. Oh, will we get the horse? This guy is going to go one, two, three, one, two, three. If I place him here, he will get both those. So oh, I'm going to move him to that tile right there. Okay, so that way he gets the horse as well. Um, let's see. Where do I put the next city? Generally, I try to block off all the coastal area so that uh, the other uh, uh, rivals in the other continents don't come and start settling along my coast that's the last thing that you want to see um, if my first city is going to be over here then the next one one two three four this is a good tile so let's settle here make another worker we'll have to road this so that uh, the archers are able to I'm in faster. Our corruption has gotten too bad. Let's road to the horse. Ah, uh, there we go. That is what is going on. That is why that guy was constantly. trying to explore near the city because he was looking for a weakness oh, these guys sometimes the yay the way it plays in Civ 3 is amazing you know I was like constantly monitoring this city because he knew that you know, he was like just looking for a weakness over there so we got a total of uh, five units here and one more guy comes and then we are going in for the attack by the way this guy is like just one tile away we have like a lot of vulnerability within India right now let us see mm. we'll attack him good it's better mm. we are going to just place the city right there so that we can take advantage of the cattle uh, let me make a worker first we'll have to place some protection in that city because uh, this guy has spotted that as a weakness we're getting mercenary in one turn so let us reduce our research
National is done. The next research, cheapest one is uh, iron working. So let's go for that. One more archer, population is up to four. Let's make another settler. Spearman coming out. Jeez, he never gives up. But that also means that we have to see what we can do to attack him. Spearman is going to get clobbered because I have a stack of uh, archers standing right there just for that purpose. Spearman standing on the plane is still, you know, it gets a little bit of a defensive bonus. They are defensive units. They are supposed to be pretty good in defending themselves. So he's taken now two of my archers already. Come back here and rest up. Now we are again down in terms of how number of archers we have for the attack. So. That kind of sets us back a little bit. Iron working in one turn. Reduce the scientific research. I think that explorer is going to get killed. No. It's going for mathematics. We are not getting the research done in four turns anymore. Ah, four turns, good. We are losing a little bit of uh, gold there, but that is okay. All right, we got hold of the horses and we are going to take out this explorer who's been constantly coming inside of our territory. So um, let's uh, change all these into horsemen now in off of uh, archers two more settlers three more settlers coming soon and this one is just a worker so there's a barracks that's going to be finished very soon over there and we want to road to this city so that our approach to arabia is faster uh, one more horseman over here just keep the production here all right so um we want to actually road to this city both of you and the other worker as well so let us see five units till he has produced horseman settler horseman again karachi has produced worker Mm -hmm. Let us do settler here. And uh, what do we do? Why is this guy here, by the way? Let me just roll it. And let's roll here. Move this guy closer. And that's going to be our next city. How do we place it? One, two, three right here some iron over here uh, I don't want the Arabs to get any of the iron because then you know he's going to like start making those uh, swordsmen they are a handful as it is giving a pretty good fight um, this would be a good location right here but this is one two three four five you know what we could do one two 
three three tiles from here we can place a city and then one two three four this would be a good location so let's do it here and that is one two three four from calcutta so let us do that let's try Kolapur barracks over there as well and this guy is also going to go to here for how many only five still mathematics coming in one time mathematics time what is next code of loss I would say we are not making a lot of uh, progress in terms of defeating the Arabs yet. Um, they are uh, playing a pretty good game also, we should keep that in mind. The AI, this is monarch level. And at this level of difficulty, it is not surprising to see them playing this level. Uh, we should probably change, uh, build a temple over here because the population is increasing a lot. And, uh, you know, the, that's going to be a little bit of unhappiness because of that. We were making a barrel somewhere right here and we should probably irrigate the tiles over here so let's do this go to this oh my god i lost that settler I didn't know that he was coming. The hazards of uh, what do I do? I think yeah, this is uh, one of the issues of not being aware. You know, he's got hold of my settler over there. It's Thirty shields lost just like that. Pretty sure you would have executed those uh, two workers that came out of the settler as well. And now the city is in danger, so I need to give it some protection. Good thing is uh, we have two horsemen, and the horsemen move pretty fast across the landscape. So city is not in a major issue. All right, I think we are ready for an attack now. All right, so 10 units, that's a lot. We are going to go closer, Medina is in danger. He wants to attack my horsemen, take them out unsuccessfully. Now, on, let us see. You know what? I'm going to like fortify all of these guys so that the most powerful guy stands out. And these guys keep popping up from here, so I'm going to just place a guy on top of the hill under protection over here. And let's move closer. So elite archer attack horseman attack and medina falls all right now you came for protection, now you are going to pay with your life. Now this entire bunch is going to wake up and all of them are going to move into the city. Now we are going to go in for Damascus next because the capital I am pretty sure will be very well guarded so we can't take the capital right away. Calcutta has produced temple, it is going for a settler, we lost a settler, yes. but. That's okay. Um, 
Do you want to go for the capital? What do you think? How many are there? 11 units. And anybody coming for uh, support? Not yet. 11 is a little bit tough for a capital. We have to reduce. You know what? We can reduce production in the capital. Let's not attack the capital. Let us get in there. This guy will continue to stand on top of the hill. Roading is done, so let's continue roading. Let's go to the city of Medina. Can you believe Medina is part of India now? All right. Next research. Um, let's do literature. I like to build libraries. Let's keep you here for protection. I'm going to place this guy here just in case gets attacked. Take this guy as well. Continues to be all right. One archer is never going to make it against me. I have a, a whole pile of them waiting right there. And Delhi, by the way, has grown quietly to population of five. Long, uh, oh, let's destroy this tile. I think that is Mecca. Settler horseman again. We are going in for uh, Medina as originally planned uh, because there aren't that many tiles that we have to destroy around uh, the capital. Although I would like to take. Uh, is he standing alone, the barrier over there? Yeah, he's alone. All right, where are we planning our uh, next guy? One, two, three. One, two, three, four is what we said, right? So he comes here, and I'm going to place my horseman there ahead of time. Now let's destroy this tile while we are there. Two, three, four. Let's try that. Kill that warrior. I have far too many of them, my buddy. How many of them are you going to kill? You know, India has a population of one and a half billions. It was considered a weakness at one point, but now that is the strength. Damascus is going to fall next. Ah, it's a horde of barbarians. All right. Keep piling on the horsemen. Run away, buddy, while you can. Like this guy is quite keen on uh, 
road road built there continue to build the roads i want another six military units uh, six is seven seven military units for damascus how many do we have we don't have enough yet literature coming in one turn so we are going to again reduce the research speaker literature is done now they want peace at this time give me construction ah still you won't give construction what will you give basra kufa Naja. no all right i don't want peace with you He's got uh, construction. I'm pretty sure I can get construction from him. So I'm not going to be researching construction anytime soon. Let's do map making. Calcutta is uh, a population of seven and Delhi is a population of five. We need to create a temple in Delhi. So let's just do that first because uh, population is going to exceed. Uh, happiness is going to become an issue soon. So. Let's do temple in all the cities that are becoming too populous. Delhi has produced temple. Horseman. This warrior wants to get killed. Shouldn't have used the archer from that hilltop over there. But you know, let's just fortify all of them. Move this guy here for protection. And move them all closer to that's an advantage of uh, building a city right next to a river or a lake uh, your population can go beyond sits and you don't need an aqueduct in order to support that uh, now there's a lot of forest around here so I'm still going to be making a barracks here as well we'll start with the temple um, we are not in a rush for barracks anymore because of um, you know the other cities are really good uh, in uh, creating the military units so we don't need to focus so much on military units anymore. Got into a state where uh, you know, it is in cruise control mode now. So I'm going to move it this way, all in one stack. And our uh, horse guy comes there as well. The next turn, I think we can actually go in for an attack. So let us see, fortify all two units and then let's attack Damascus. It's a little bit close, um, you know, with uh, six military units, the, our, the spearman can sometimes defeat all of them. And I suspected there is more than one spearman in Damascus, but let's give it a try. It's a close shave. If you lose, then it's going to take a long time for us to recover. This is not going the way I expected. Lost all the horsemen there. The horsemen are a little bit more expensive and you can upgrade them into elephants as well. Damascus falls destroyed. That's the price you pay for taking hold of my settler. Alright, so now we are going to wake up all these guys. They can rest in the same location. This archer needs to be taken out, and then we are going in for Basra. Run away. Calcutta produced a settler. One more settler. Mm, starting there with a settler again. come here and chop off this forest and our plan was uh, could we do one more here one two three one two three so we should probably do one more here just block off the coastal areas don't give a room for uh, any room for uh, the other civilizations to come and settle in uh, this guy needs to do the dirty job uh, he's our uh, slave from Arabia, uh, pun intended. So uh, let's clear the jungle here. 
the harsh jobs and we should draw this style as well so that we get uh, the gents ah, trying to run away Bombay has produced Arshman continue to produce Arshman Arshman will attack you we are losing too many people to spearmen today Longer than what I anticipated, but let us see. Yeah, let's put a row to this iron. This guy, I'm pretty sure, is going to head this way, but hmm, let's take our chance. Madras has produced temple, so I want to set left from Madras. Mongols, Mongols are making progress in Mumbai. Uh, let's go with the archer first. Attack him. Not revenge. Not getting the revenge yet. This archer. India's population is getting reduced. Military population. But that's not what I intended. I wanted to attack that guy. Okay, let's attack with this archer. All right. Oh, it's created another city over here. Um, yeah, our slaves are going to go here and clear out this jungle, right? So. We are getting map making. Going for currency next. Coming in seven times. All right, so the coding is done to that. Uh, let's try to tempt them to come towards us. growth in 20 turns it's a pretty poor place but they are like just trying to occupy as much territory as possible right now uh, yeah let's irrigate our all around the city because if you don't irrigate then people are going to die out of disease they are right so another horseman we have to wait till the horseman population climbs up all the way to about 10 horsemen or so then we can go in for an attack uh, just rest up here. What should we do? Let's go and uh, give a little bit of panic to that guy. What did he call the third arsenal? Kolapur has produced barracks. Arsenal. Horseman, Bombay is producing horseman. Dashi is produced settler, one more settler. Road is done. 
uh, now we have one two three four luxuries so there is no reason for any of the cities to become unhappy uh, they're supposed to be like four happy citizens if the population grows beyond eight that's when we are going to have issues but by then uh, we should have finished Arabia um, another thing that we should consider you know now that we have researched mathematics is our statue of Zeus um, how many turns 34 turns right now the capital is producing a lot of horsemen uh, if I get distracted towards a wonder it's not going to be helpful if, it's, uh, if there are six of them in here uh, they are not getting the prime tiles see these tiles are not actually worked at all so we should move all the workers to the capital and get the territory and the capital in good shape so let's do that I want to see what is to the other side of the hill as well so let's move the horsemen in we'll continue to build horsemen and let's use the archer for combat oh no it's a problem with the mouse Jaipur has produced temple settler. Uh, where are we going next? We should probably road towards the city over here. And this guy continues to irrigate around the city. So we are going this way. One, two, three, four. There we go, that's what I was talking about, right? See, that is what I was talking about. We already have the Mongols coming in with their settlers trying to take get a foothold on uh, this continent not a pleasant scenario right now we are not in a position to fight them off um, this is a pretty crappy land anyway so if they want to take it they can take it we will uh, claim it back from them as soon as we are done with the Arabs how many horsemen do I have here three still a long way to go we can not try to strike peace with the Arabs and uh, ask for construction and then cheat them right so let us see what they say now construction 14 gold Basra Kufa okay we are getting two cities what about Baghdad never Khorasan oh. okay we are these giving the two cities construction and 14 gold for peace so let's add up that peace for now because uh, it's going to take a little bit of time for us to build up our military uh, in the meantime you know like we don't have to like keep on fighting him his capital is right here we are going to build up about 10 horsemen right outside of the capital of uh, Arabia and then we are going to take him out he's got Khorasan over here and Mecca so I'm going to change the production here to temple for both of these cities and then I want to give a little bit of protection to both so let's place this guy into the city and I'm going to put a horseman into Basra and that way both of them stay protected and then we'll continue building up the horseman what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the production here to statue of Zeus so that we get uh, um, then what does the statue of Zeus produce again ancient cavalry so get an ancient cavalry once in every five turns it's a pretty good unit considering the time at which we are getting it has an attack of three points and a defense of two points um, attack of three in uh, medieval age you know look at the horseman it's got an attack of two ancient cavalry is a pretty powerful unit and uh, it also has a lot of additional hit points so if i look at this um, doesn't show how many hit points 
it has but it is uh, there it is additional hit point on its health bar right so an additional health hit point is a lot actually so it's going to take a little bit um you know of uh, of uh, trouble for arabia to defeat us once we get the statue of zeus so having said that i want to like finish off uh, the gameplay here today uh, we'll pick up and see where we stand tomorrow um, in the next video we will uh, see where uh, whether we are able to defeat arabia and uh, let's uh, close it for now over here